on this cold December day, we are on our merry way. Good morning, happy peoples. Hope you're having an awesome day. It is a cold day here in Alaska. It is about nine below zero. I just got the fire cranking. It is freezing. It's, we're whining guys. It's normally like, you know, 20 plus below. So it's nine below. Woo! Uh, we've got a special treat today. So contrary to popular belief, the mayor of North Pole is actually not Santa Claus. If that's a surprise to you, we're gonna go show you who the actual mayor of North Pole is. We're gonna go meet with him and maybe ask him a few questions. Should be fun. So, well, we have a meeting in like five minutes, so I need to run. What am I doing? Okay, let's get in the car. So we had a quick meeting with the mayor and I was gonna throw some questions at him, but he says, you know what? Let's go to Pagoda because that's just where you do business, I guess, when you're in North Pole. So we're gonna eat at Pagoda and maybe I can get a couple questions out of him, possibly. But Mayor Mike Welch, super, super nice guy. Got a great vision here for North Pole. So let's go. I wonder what I should ask him. I'll come up with something cool. Pretty well, the mayor decided he wanted to bring us out to lunch, so that's super kind. So we're gonna go grab a bite to eat. Nena still has the kiddos. Let's go in and check in on them, seeing how they're doing. I hope she's doing okay. <laughs> I love you, mom. All right, guys, and I'm doing a puzzle with Nana, but she's not here yet. I have to sort all of them. It, there's 100, 1,000 pieces of this. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. That's how much is that? This is it. That's not how much it is. Okay, guys, well, I'm gonna let you go since I've done a lot, but yeah, I'm gonna do a little. Whoa. I didn't see those before. Okay, guys. Well, right now I'm doing a puzzle with Nana. Yes, we're putting it together. You want to so show them what it looks like? Yeah, I should. That's what, what it's going to look like. It's a bunch of nice looking yeah, festive one that cupcakes. I'll show you later. Can I see? Oh, I'm going to look at right like We're trying to get all the end pieces out. Well, they're watching back there. What are you watching? We're watching when I was born. Look at you, you're so nice. So yeah, we're gonna get on the puzzle. Yeah, so we're gonna get started. All right, we're back over here, guys, at the, uh, the mayor's office. And before I forget to mention, so Colonel Ingram, dropped off these lays. He just came from Hawaii, and like he made one for me, one for my wife, very nice of him. So he was talking about some fun things that they're looking at at Ielson, but I have the rare chance of having the mayor here. I gotta ask a couple questions, and obviously, I was telling you earlier, so you'd think that like Santa Claus would be like the mayor of North Pole, because it's North Pole, but it's actually not. It's Mayor Mike Welch, so we appreciate you having us here. Hey, how you doing today? Doing we've, great. We've been off to a great start already today, yeah? That's awesome. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. Quick questions here. So maybe, first of all, why did you decide to, to run for Mayor of North Pole? Well, you know, based it on my experiences of having been on the council a couple of terms from 2005 to 8 and also 2013 to 15, Mm -hmm. and the different people I have come across and the different opportunities that had been presented to the city. But I felt like, well, now that I'm retired, 
I can devote my entire focus to the city and how it should move forward with this gift that's being dropped in our lap, the expansion of Allison Air Force Base. Mm. Myself, having had been an airman, I realized how important it is for us to be able to be the welcoming and the host community to Allison. But I'm looking at the things that would make this community retain its beautiful character, its nice people, and to try to bring some more opportunities for people to have jobs here, have lives here, and have the whole gamut of everything you would expect a community to have so it can now stand on its own and you don't have to run off to Fairbanks. If you paint a painting of what what is your vision or what will North Pole look like in the next five years? What would you say it would look like? Well, I have to tell you, I look further down the road than that. Five years is really kind of close. But first thing I'll tell you is that with the addition of the families that will come here to Ileson, what we will have is at least inside of five years a tripling of our current population. Wow. Instead of 2,200, we'll probably be between 6,000 and 6,500. And I'd expect that to be here by the year 2024. Um, what we can say is if I give the proper attention to the city, bring the right focus, I'd also think we'd have a lot of local businesses that will start to thrive, mm -hmm. which will attract more businesses. And I would like to keep those as smaller to intermediate family-owned businesses because I think it fits our community better and so that we don't get into a big overgrowth. And without going into all the plans that are coming down from the borough, what we're doing with the state and things of that nature, there will be uh, a new type of land use classifications. That'll take a few years to manifest itself. But what we're really trying to do is keep the growth on a steady plane. That was one of the big things for me to want to be mayor, is I've seen the boom bust, the boom bust. We don't need to go back and forth like that. Mm -hmm. We need to be able to say we're on a steady, even plane, or like I say, for being on floats, getting up on step. Get up on step and then gradually break away from the water and get up in the air and fly. And what I want to see is the sustained growth in this city. In North Pole, um, what are some of the maybe uh, unique, unique things that we would deal with here as a city as opposed to maybe other cities? Well, I'm going to use a, a, a quote from my wife or a way she tells things. She says, when there's a stranger, it's Safeway. By the first aisle, you acknowledge them. You look at them and they look back. By the second aisle, you introduce yourself. By the third aisle, you're showing them where the pickle jars are hidden on the bottom. And people, <laughs> people get to know you. And that's one of the things that people say about us is that you're so, people are so warm. You're so open. You're, you're so friendly. And, and I'd like to see us continue to be that way. And I think that's one of the main features that attract people to living out here. And it's not hustle bustle. It's really pretty much a beautiful way of life. And you don't go far from the confines of little 4.2 square miles and you could be out into the wilderness before you know it. Mm -hmm. Appreciate it, Mayor. Thank you so much for sharing and, and your time here. So it's, it's really kind of cool to be able to meet the mayor of North Pole. And I can say I have now met the mayor of North Pole. <laughs> what a handshake. Hi. Well, this is how far we've gotten on the puzzle. Look at this. And all this done. Look at that. It dumped down here. Oh, the lighting. It's so creepy. <laughs> Look at the fire. We've waited so long. It's only a little bit. I'm gonna warm up by it. Got some presents under the tree. These ornaments from one of you subscribers. Thank you, we touched your into it and hanged it on the tree. And that's on trees, the one with the purple one. It's mine, my favorite color is aqua though. And that right there, it's Audrey's the white one. And from the same person, we've got Garrett, our car. We are very excited. Woo, guys, you almost dropped, like, really completely there. Not back yet. Everybody's up here chilling. I wanted to say I miss you, Mommy. I miss you, Daddy. Hope you're having a fun time at the photo. I'm so tired. Anyway, it's been seven minutes. 
that they started talking to you. So I'm gonna let you guys go. So bye. Let's go off to mommy and daddy. made it back home and just still like wow we just met with the mayor of North Pole how cool is that so mayor Welch is a super nice guy uh, he even watches our vlogs guys that just blows us away like he like he's asking well is Garrett uh, feeling better I saw that he was sick <laughs> so no geeking out about that a little bit but I actually had to cut it short I'm like mayor I apologize I need to let you go because I have an employee that would like a paycheck this week. So I got paycheck stubs sent in late. So I had to come over here to the office and get this done and sent in. So, you know, and he understood. So I'm trying to get caught up on work after the Bethel trip. And I might have to go out of town again next week to Kotzebue. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. Anyway, just had to fill you guys in. It, it was just neat just to hear, uh, I guess, some of the vision or some of the stuff. I and mean, we didn't video all of it. But he's got a lot of ideas, and it's just, it's neat. Because, I mean, it's like North Pole, that's that's us. That's like who we are. This is like our town. And to have a uh, mayor that actually seems to really care, and I guess they all care to some degree, but he was just very specific about the things that he'd like to see and trying to find a way to get there. So yeah, it was just neat. It was special. So thank you, Mayor. We appreciate your time. There's so much going on. We're trying to, trying to figure it all out and, like, what... We have time to share and what we remember to pull up the camera to do, but we just just want to let you know though that you guys are special and you guys are really cool that you even follow us along on our journey. So thank you for following along with this whatever life and whatever story we're showing you today because we're making it up as we go because that's just life. You guys remember time where you were making cookies with your grandma and how special was it? I'm sure it was special. This is not even a question. Just if you have a memory of making cookies with your grandma, if you don't mind sharing it down below. Mm. Where we find David. Let's do it. Let's see. Oh, looks like he's playing a game. With my animal! <laughs> well, why don't you... My legs got tired while I was searching for Jesus last night. So, I took a little break and played a game with my friends. The Bible tells us how we can love our friends and our family, giving one another, and loving each other no matter what. Speaking of family, let's have a family game <gasps> night. night. Tonight! God has chosen you and made you his holy people. He loves you. So your life should be like this. Show mercy to others. Kind, humble, gentle, and patient. Do, don't be angry with each other, but forgive each other. If you feel someone has wronged you, forgive them. Forgive others because the Lord forgave you. Together with these things, the most important part of your new life is to love each other. Daddy. Love is what holds everything together in perfect unity. Hey, um, David can't pick that up. Well, he's got a How card. I didn't know that they were Where's all mine? friends. Because they're Daddy? all my animals. Uh, Daddy. David, did you come in my room and sneak out my toys? David. Tell me the truth. <laughs> oh, that one? Okay, okay so it's whatever it. Audrey thinks is useful. useful. Okay. Okay, I got it. Oh, with the armor. Yeah! Oh. <laughs> Oh, oh, saintly. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay, 
And from every window shines a light Gotta be guessing! Somewhere in the distance drums are calling that? Alrighty, well that was fantastic. Nena won. Nena? Trey is. a beast at the old apples to apples. This is kind of a fun one. It's like the Bible edition. Because some of the other apples and apples are a little no, weak. But we really like this one. It kind of teaches a little bit too. So let us know in the comments below, what is your guys' favorite family game to play? We're always looking for new, fun family game ideas. So let us know what is your guys' favorite. I'm going to get that. Nailed it. I'm just gonna... Hope you guys enjoyed coming along with us. I know we had some fun. Cookies turned out amazing. It was so neat to be able to go talk over some stuff with the mayor today. Super exciting. We had a super fun time playing games with the kiddos. Sorry guys if you notice that I walk around a lot. I'm the same way when I'm on the phone. Like if I'm on the phone, I'm like, I have to walk. I have to do something. So I apologize if you just want me to be, can't stand still. Nope, can't do it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up. Remember it helps out our channel and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.